Konnichiwa, hello, my name is Mickey and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I have been seeing this all over Instagram, Facebook, just everywhere. And I'm really excited to try this because I absolutely love their hydrating uh, camo concealer. And I'm hoping that this is a lot like their concealer because I just love that thing. Now, if you guys are new here or you enjoy my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when my videos are uploaded. And my disclaimer, if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended, this is definitely not the place for you. I'm a no filter bitch and I have no idea what's gonna come out of this potty mouth, so keep that in mind while you're watching. Alrighty, if you guys are interested in the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, then just stay tuned. Do you look any more put together today? We are not in the best shape today to be filming. As you can see, I look like complete nutter shit, but that's okay because I've been doing a lot of health stuff, trying to get the health ready to be, you know, sold and we can get our asses out of here. I am on the biggest struggle bus right now with my hair. I have been using the Vegamore Hair Serum for hair growth. That shit actually works. It's making my baby hairs grow like fucking crazy, which is why these are just like, they, I just don't know what to do with them. All of these right here, these little teeny tiny baby hairs are like new growth. And so I'm extremely happy, but this also means that I'm gonna look like complete shit because I can't, I can't do it. What am I supposed to do with these? I don't know. Yeah, this is just what we're gonna look like today because I, it's, this is just my life right now. So today I'm gonna be reviewing the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Now I'm really excited about this. I have never ever in my entire life tried a CC cream. I've never tried a BB cream. I've never tried any of those. I've always just stuck to regular foundation just because I don't know, CC cream. I get that it's like color correcting cream. It's a little bit thicker, but I, I just always preferred foundation, I guess. And then for BB cream, I never ever had like non acne skin. I've always had acne throughout my entire like Ever since I was a teenager, I've had acne. And so I've never even glanced at a BB cream because those are mostly for people who have better skin than I do. And I have really, really shitty skin. So I just never even considered BB cream ever. I really like the packaging. It's got like that iridescent shimmer there. Now on the box here, it says skin loving ingredients, collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. I'm really happy there's niacinamide in here because my skin loves that shit. Now there's SPF 30, which also makes me extremely extremely happy. There is 20 shades, which the shades look actually pretty freaking decent. This retails for $14 and I got this from e.l.f.'s website because they were having free shipping. So I always jump on shit whenever it's free shipping. The shade here that I got is uh, Fair 120N, which is fair with neutral beige undertones. And this is the lightest shade, which I'm a little shocked because it is pretty uh, yellow looking from the package, but I'm not gonna judge it entirely off of the package because if we've tried any foundations, we know that the packaging doesn't always correlate to what's inside. There is 1.05 fluid ounces in here, so there's 0.05 more than a regular foundation, so it's really not that much more. A little information about this guy, it is a medium to full coverage color correcting foundation with SPF 30 protection. Ditch your basic foundation. This skin color correcting cream is the only product you need to achieve a natural looking complexion, but with full coverage. A multitasking dream cream with peptides and niacinamide known to plump, hydrate, and smooth the appearance of your skin while protecting with SPF. Also infused with skin loving collagen. So I just finished putting on primer. It's the same primer I use for all my foundation reviews. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is a primer and a moisturizer in one. Now today I busted out my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer because I don't like the other concealer, the other camo concealer from e.l.f. because it is way too dry for your dry crusty ass girl here and so we're gonna try it with the hydrating camel concealer this is just a regular like tube with a pump I still don't really know how I feel about these I don't really necessarily like them I just like a good foundation that's like in this you know glass bottle regular pump for me it's just really hard to shake this kind of packaging so that's just my two cents on that now I am going to put some on the skin here if I could just get it out to the back of my hand. Oh, are we already having trouble with this? 
Okay, there we go. That's like 50 bajillion pumps later. Now this is, what is this again? Fair 120N. Ooh, okay. So it's definitely a neutral shade. It's not too yellow, not too pink. It's pretty much smack dab in the middle here. I think I'm just going to apply the entire face with this guy right here because I'm just, you know, really loving this brush. So I'm going to go in with what's on the back of my hand and we're just going to apply this foundation, see if it gives us uh, some coverage because it did say uh, medium to buildable coverage. So first let's go in and see what the shade is going to be like. Hmm not too shabby i feel like this might actually be a really decent shade match holy shit if this is how a cc cream is supposed to feel i will say it does feel a little bit more thicker than like i don't know like a regular liquid foundation i can actually feel it on the skin is what i'm trying to say a lot of other foundations when i put it on the skin i can feel it initially but once i start blending it out it feels a lot more lighter in consistency but this one I can definitely feel on my face. Now, if you're new on my channel, I just want to mention I have extremely dry, dehydrated, flaky, crusty skin. And I have acne, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, texture, all that gunkiness that most people don't really want on their face. So just so you guys know what kind of skin type I have, I don't know. I don't really like it, to be honest. It's emphasizing a lot of the texture on my face. It's clinging to it's not even clingy it's like making my face look weirdly cakey as for the coverage I do feel like this is a good medium coverage but I don't feel like you can build this up to full coverage because then you're gonna be extremely cakey now I am already just getting a lot of cakiness a lot of texture and it's really weird because it's not necessarily emphasizing the dryness on my face but it's emphasizing the texture and it looks really cakey. It's really hard to explain. I'm gonna actually finish blending the rest of this out and then I'm gonna scoot in closer so you guys can get a better look at what's going on on this mug. So I got the foundation blended out on my face and I turned the lighting down just a smidge. The shade match is actually pretty good. I think it's almost perfect. If not, it's pretty much spot on. Now I am just getting a lot of emphasization on my texture and it's extremely weird because because it's not clinging to my dryness, but it's clinging to my texture. It's so weird because normally I get texture from a foundation because of my dryness. Hopefully I'm making sense, but instead of clinging to the dryness, it's just accentuating texture, which is why I find this foundation to be extremely weird. I don't know if that's a CC cream type thing. Cause again, this is the first CC cream I've ever tried. So I don't know what's going on with that. Everything on the sides of my mouth is just so textury like look at that it's just a lot of texture here on my smile lines on the side of my nose it looks extremely just disgustingly caked on there i just uh, i don't know what's going on i did exfoliate my face and all that good stuff today so i shouldn't have too much like cakiness but i don't i don't really know i just really do not like the way that it's sitting on my mouth area here because it's just a lot of texture it's already creased into my one little frown line there so that's a good deal um i just really am not liking how it looks so texturized like on my skin i just cannot stand this area here it is just like really really bothersome so i'm gonna go ahead and call the check-in time right now it is 304 but i'm gonna call the check-in time three o'clock since i've been sitting here kind of like chatting with you guys about the foundation i am now going to put on some of the elf uh hydrating camel concealer this is satin finish now let me talk about the finish about this foundation i really like it because it is slightly dewy it's not matte which i just hate matte foundations. I'm really glad that this is not a matte foundation because I feel like if the finish was matte, I would have a lot more, not only texture, but a lot more clinging to the dryness. And I feel that's the only reason why this doesn't cling to my dryness is because it's not a matte finish. It didn't actually state online what kind of finish this is supposed to be. It just said natural finish, which to me could 
almost be anything these days. So I really do like that there is a slight like glow to my face. My face actually looks really fucking good in the viewfinder this far. But again, when I move up closer, you can see all the texture, all the cakiness. So I'm hoping this is one of those foundations that through time, like throughout the day, it starts looking a lot better because normally I've noticed that when foundations look like this on my skin in the beginning, towards the middle and the end of the wear test, my foundation looks great at the end of the day. So it might be one of those type of deals. But now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Rose, which is extremely pink undertone, but that's okay because this is kind of all I've got to work with right now. I'm just going to apply as much concealer as I normally do, which is like these two little dots, and then I add more if I want more coverage. And I'm just going to take my little Real Techniques little mini blender here and just a blend underneath the eyes my thing is or my expectations i should say when you are a brand and you come out with a line of products for instance this one would be the camo line because there's the camo concealer now there's the camo cc cream so when you come out with a line like this camo uh line i expect everything to work in conjunction with each other so if you come out with a camo concealer and a camo foundation and a camo powder i expect those three products to work together so not necessarily like if you have the elf flawless finish foundation and you're using a camo concealer i don't necessarily expect those two to work perfectly but if you're using a camo foundation and a camo concealer i would expect those two to work a lot better than if you were using the flawless finish foundation hopefully that makes sense as i'm blending out this concealer it looks absolutely beautiful as it normally does with any other foundation that i've tried it with now we know the check-in time is three o'clock so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my mug and I will be right back. All right, so I just finished the rest of my face and today the brows are just not gonna be cooperating. So that's that, I guess. I only added a few things to my face and I actually really like the way my makeup looks. So again, the check-in time is three o'clock. I'm gonna wear this for as long as possible, which is usually around the six, seven hour mark. So I'm gonna have to be wearing this until at least 10 o'clock, at least 10 o'clock. Well, actually, no, nine o'clock because six hours from three is nine. Holy shit, can't do math today. So I'm gonna go about the rest of my day, get some things done here around the house, and then I'll come back in a couple of hours and we can see what's going on on this mug for my very first check-in. So I just got done eating. Before that, I was taking a little nap. It is now 6.35, so I've been wearing this for three and a half hours. It is definitely one of those foundations that look a lot better as time moves on because I'm actually really enjoying this foundation now. I didn't like it when I first put it on because it just looks so texturized around my mouth and it still looks like that, but not as bad as it did earlier. So around my nose, we still got a lot of that like cakiness going on. I did powder this area very lightly. The only places that I set were uh, underneath my eyes and like the bridge of my nose because of my glasses. But other than that, I didn't set any other area on my face. Normally foundations, even when I set them on my nose, I would have all the foundation rubbed off by now from my glasses but i can still see there's like quite a bit of foundation there it's not like a chunk missing so that i really like because that to me means that there's more staying power the more you set it and even the areas that i didn't set are still pretty like it's on my face like it hasn't rubbed off again i did take a nap so i was like you know laying my head on my uh, jacket and all that and nothing has seemed to rub off or done anything like funky or weird now i am starting to feel like i can feel it and almost see it it's starting to break down here around my mouth area for my texture it's still there but again it's not as like wham bam in your face like it was earlier my forehead actually looks really stinking good like wow my forehead looks a lot better than it did earlier earlier it was like i don't know it was like on the verge of looking very very dry but right now i feel like the foundation is really just like settled into my skin and my face is actually really really enjoying this foundation now when i put the camera up like this you can definitely see all the texture on the sides of my nose there and on the sides of my mouth so yeah that's something that i'm gonna have to take care of because you know the only way that your makeup can look better is if 
the skin underneath it looks good too so i'm just gonna have to concentrate more on exfoliating around my mouth so i'd say so far i really do like this foundation i'm liking it more as time goes on it's just one of those foundations also underneath my eyes the concealer is still there i didn't set it with a lot of powder at all so it feels pretty good like this doesn't feel like oh my god i have to take it off it doesn't feel thick anymore and it actually looks really really good oh today was a very slow day i feel like the day just went by super slow the time is now 9 17 so i have been wearing this a little over six hours maybe like 15 minutes more than an hour so not that much longer this foundation definitely is one of those that look better over time because you guys saw my reaction in the beginning i really didn't like it because of all the texture around my mouth but i feel like as the day has gone by and your face produces some oil that this foundation looks a lot better than it did when i first put it on now i'm gonna scoot up so you guys can see what is going on on this mug so i definitely still have a lot of texture here around this area but like i mentioned in my check-in i feel like that's more of a me thing than a foundation thing now there are some foundations out there that accentuate texture more than others and i feel like this is just one of those foundations plus how shitty my skin has been uh with the texture wise now as you can see some parts here like on the sides right here kind of rubbed off and that's probably from me putting my coat on taking it off whenever i go outside because it is like 29 degrees out there so i put my puffy winter coat on and a lot of the time the coat always has like foundation on it so i know Know that the foundation basically rubs off on my coat in the uh, neck chin area here my nose is like the big problem area do you guys see that it is like so freaking like textury cakey just dry and yeah I feel like any foundation is just gonna do that because my skin is just super duper dry these days but yeah so far I really do like the way it looks after six hours again I still have a lot of texture here and it's starting to become really really dry on this side but the one thing I'm noticing is this is not breaking down as much as other foundations would at the six hour mark now mind you I did not set any of this except for again my under eyes and the bridge of my nose so the fact that this is still all here is kind of crazy because again I was taking a nap I had my uh like arm kind of like this and surprisingly nothing has budged on this side of my face and that's really amazing because most of the time whenever I do accidentally fall asleep while I have a foundation or something on this side will always look lighter coverage than this side I say this side because I always lean on this side whenever I'm watching the tv and I'm on the couch and so that's crazy that I didn't set this and it's still all there so I feel like this foundation is one of those that is self setting so if you're someone who doesn't like to wear powder or you have dry skin like me and you always forego the powder then I would say that this is definitely a foundation that you might like because you don't have to use powder to set it because it didn't move it didn't budge really anywhere off of my face and I think that's a really really good like pro to this foundation I just noticed when I looked at the back it says wear as a moisturizer and full coverage foundation depending on your needs not really sure what that means because this isn't a tinted moisturizer it's labeled as a foundation but I'm guessing that if you don't need as much coverage like maybe you need something under the eyes you can use your fingers and kind of like in place of a concealer I guess but I just really like this foundation and I'm going to continue trying to wear it out of the house as well that way I can see how long it's going to last with a mask because I didn't wear a mask today I didn't leave the house at all and so I don't know the staying power of this with a mask but as for just wearing it I really really like the finish of it the way it looks um within like an hour or so where I do have to try this a couple more times to ultimately decide if it's a yay or a nay for me um nothing really beats my number seven foundation I actually have it right here this is the protect and perfect advanced all-in-one foundation nothing has beat this guy for me all throughout 2020 and that's why I'm trying like new things like this I feel like there's a lot more potential for this because this one actually has a lot more coverage than the number seven foundation and that's what I like about this because on the 
the days that I'm like, you know, super crusty and breaking out and my skin's just not cooperating, then I could probably just pull this bad guy out and really just, you know, get the coverage that I really need as well as the color correcting aspect of this foundation. All right, you guys. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please get a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I post my videos. And as always, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or if you simply want to talk shit, leave it on the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.